Okay, in this video we're going to look at the Properties palette in Revit. Now the Properties palette is located once again on the left of your screen. It'll either be at the bottom under the project browser or you might have you might find it at the top of the project browser. Either way you can simply move it around again by clicking on it and dragging it. And as with the project browser you can actually drag it off onto another screen to maximize your view space. Uh, the Properties palette is probably one of the most used windows in Revit and it's a very important tool. As you can see at the moment it's giving me my properties for the actual plan that I'm looking at. So I can scroll down through that and it gives me multiple options to change how the view that I'm looking at is displayed. Now if I go ahead and draw in a wall just very quickly into my view space over here what you'll find is that once I click on this wall whether it's in plan view or 3D view or elevation my properties palette has actually changed and it's changed to reflect the element that I've actually clicked on and as you can see this drop down at the top here it's giving me multiple options for which I am able to change my wall to. At the moment it's selected as a generic 200mm thick wall but I can go through and change that to any different type of wall that Revit has set up as a default or you can actually go in and we'll show you later how to set up your own type of wall to change that to. Now lower down in the box it's giving me some information telling me how my wall is actually set up in my project giving me a base constraint at level 1 and a top constraint of an um, unconnected height of 8 meters. Just remember that Revit works in millimeters so you have to keep that in mind. Um, also scrolling down it's telling me that it's a non-bearing wall and it's giving me a length and area and volume for that element 